So I am telling you now so that you'll be aware that the world we are living in is already in danger. I'm telling you today that wasting of food is a sin. Wasting of food is a sin. To cook your food in your house, except maybe it's just a local restaurant, maybe popular ones you know, and even if you buy food from restaurants, bless them. Because most of these restaurants are spiritual, are owned by spiritual men and women who are on to work for Satan, to initiate people into, into a court world spiritually and affect their lives in one way or the other. The next thing we should expect of the Antichrist is his reigning period on earth, the reigning period of the Antichrist. The Antichrist and his total years of worship or rulership, according to the Bible, is going to be seven years. According to the Bible, it's going to be seven years. Hell is a real place, and I don't want you to go there. We've been reporting on the bizarre phenomenon that seems to be taking place not just in this country, but all over the world. On a Sunday morning, my prophetic word to you this morning is get ready! Get ready! Why you have been unable to pass through the wilderness of life that every Christian and every servant of God must pass in their life? Now go out of the way of God to seek power in the witchcraft kingdom. Welcome back. This is End Time Evangelist. So, uh, this is the continuation of the message, the government of the Antichrist. And uh, I continue this message uh, from part one. And like I told you, this video is going to include the mammon spirit because they work together. They work hand in hand. I need to include it and it's going to be the last part of this message that means this video is going to have another part and i will give them one title so i might not title it the government of the antichrist because it's a very popular you know it's a very popular topic a lot of people have already talked about it but i i need to repeat it even i had made a video about this in my former channel but i need to repeat it in this channel to get people informed and get people to know and understand that we are living in the end to have the knowledge of the Bible of what the devil is planning against man and the church of Christ. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that you take absolute control of this moment and the message of God will be breathed by you that the Spirit of the living God breathe on this message that as many lives will come across this video, their life will never remain the same in the name of Jesus transform lives of God and bring them back to you in Jesus name Amen in the previous video uh, we were discussing the, the mission of the beast I was able to complete that in the previous part so here I want to read a place with you in the Bible 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 3 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 3, the Bible says here, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. You know, we, you are hearing escape now, escape now, escape now. You will not listen. Everywhere is peaceful, you go about your jobs, you come back, every end of the month you collect your salary, you go about your business, you are making your money, no problem. But you are hearing the message, plan for the future, plan for the future, plan to farm. You will not listen now, it doesn't make sense to you. What is the Bible saying? 
peace, 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 and sudden destructions will come upon them, and they won't be able to escape. God is using his servants all over the world to warn you now, and you don't want to prepare ahead of time. It's going to take you by surprise. So let me now tell you the, the source and the authority of the beast. The authority of the beast and where his authority will come from. The beast authority comes from majorly two sources, according to the Bible. Number one source of the power of the beast or the authority of the beast, it will come from the dragon. I'm not going outside the Bible to tell you about the Antichrist or the government's chief of the Antichrist. I'm telling you within the Bible. Okay? I didn't give you history of this. I didn't, you know, if I, people make research on this, but I didn't make any research. I limit my video on the government of the Antichrist to Bible knowledge, to the Bible history. I know. And I'm just giving you just a little knowledge as you can as you as can help you. Okay? So based on the Bible information, the authority of the beast will come from the dragon, which is Satan, the Lucifer, and from the ten horns, which are um these ten horns is going to be the ten powerful nations of the world, as recorded in the Bible. I think in the book of Revelation, the same Revelation, chapter 13. The authority of the beast will come from, from Satan and the ten horns. Um, Revelation 13. Okay, let me read verse 1. Verse 1. Is it verse 1 or verse 2? Okay, let me read verse 2 of Revelation 13. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave his power, gave him his power, and his seat and great authority. Like I told you, his authority will come from the dragon, which is Satan. And then the second authority will come from the ten nations, the ten power block, and Bible has a record of that. Where is it? I saw it. Excuse me, let me find it. I don't think it's Revelation 13. I think that is found in the book of Revelation 17. Revelation 17, verse 10. The Bible says, And there are seven kings. Oh, no, sorry. Revelation 17, verse 12, rather. And the ten horns which thou sowest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings. One hour with the beast. One hour with the beast. And look at verse 13. These have one mind. Verse 13 now of Revelation 17. These kings, these seven kings have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beasts. Sorry, the ten horns. I mean, the ten horns are the ten power blocks that are going to work under the government of the Antichrist. They are going to submit their sovereignty to this beast. They will submit the, the sovereignty of their government, which means the authority of their government, the finances, the, the, there is a monetary aspect, the, uh, the, lead, the leadership aspect, the economy aspect, everything of their government, they will submit to the beast and the beast will be the one to command them. They will work under him. So the authority of the beast is going to come from these two sources as recorded in the Bible here. So that is on that. Then the next, the next thing we should expect of the Antichrist is his reigning period on earth. The reigning period of the Antichrist. The Antichrist 
and his total years of worship or rulership, according to the Bible, is going to be seven years. According to the Bible record, it's going to be seven years. And um, we find that in the book of Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. Daniel 7, verse 25. He's going to rule for seven years. You know, I hear people say, uh, rapture will take place tomorrow, rapture will take place next week, rapture will take place this year. And I tell them, rapture cannot take place now. But you should be prepared for rapture because nobody knows when rapture will happen. Prepare for rapture every day as if rapture is going to take place today, today. The reason is because nobody knows when Jesus will come. But one thing I am sure is that we must witness the Antichrist. Let me tell you what the Bible says before I come back here concerning this man. Because a lot of people are being mislaid. In the book of, is this 1st or 2nd Thessalonians? 2nd Thessalonians, is it chapter 2 of 2nd Thessalonians, if I'm not wrong? Come on. I waste my time. I think it's 2nd Thessalonians, chapter, chapter 2. Now, listen what the Bible says. Because we are going to witness the Antichrist. All eyes will witness the Antichrist. They will announce him on TV and he will come, he will appear. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, of course Jesus Christ is going to return. Unto his coming, as we keep watching, and by our gathering together unto him, talking about rapture, talking about gathering of the saints to prepare for rapture, and talking about rapture of the saints, because we are going to gather in the air. He says, verse 2, that ye be not shaken, ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by later, or as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody lead you astray. Don't let anybody confuse you by any teachings, by doctrines, by, uh, by uh, cons conviction. Let the word of God lead you because the coming of Christ is near. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. You hear it again. For that day shall not come. He said, Christ will not return. Rapture will not happen. Jesus will not appear in the air yet until, until, except the air come may fall in a way first and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Man of sin being Satan and his, his beast, the Antichrist. Man of sin being the Antichrist. He said Jesus will not come. Until he is revealed, the man of perdition. Look at verse 4. Who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he, he as God seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. We are going to witness this man. He will take power. He is going to make agreement with the people of Israel. He is going to make agreement of peace for seven years with them. And he's going to break this promise, this covenant, this agreement. He's going to break it in the middle of seven years. And he's going to man the temple and desecrate it. I will read the Bible with you in this message. This is the word of God. The Antichrist is yet to be revealed. So anybody telling you Jesus is coming tomorrow, just follow the word of God and get ready for his coming. Every minute of the day. Going back to Daniel chapter 8, chapter 7. Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. The Bible says, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and he shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. Are they not changing the Bible today? They are removing a lot of things in the Bible and perverting it is a prophecy. And the Lord said that Jesus Christ is the way to the Father. Why not go to God in prayer and ask him for what you need? 
But no, because you don't have faith. If you are not aware that some countries where you are is going to be affected very soon, then you'll be caught up in the disaster, in the disaster and the catastrophe that are coming upon such countries. I know that the Antichrist will soon take over and it is going to affect every area of human endeavor. Daniel chapter 7 verse 25 And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of times. This time and time says he's talking about the years of his rulership. The ten horns. I mean, the ten horns are the ten power blocks that are going to work under the government of the Antichrist. They are going to submit their sovereignty to this beast. They will submit the, the sovereignty of their government, which means the authority of their government, the finances, the, the, there's a monetary aspect, the, uh, the, lead, the leadership aspect, the economy aspect, everything of their government, they will submit to the beast and the beast will be the one to command them. They will work under him. So the authority of the beast is going to come from these two sources as recorded in the Bible here. So that is on that. So I'm only going to read Daniel chapter... 9 verse 27 with you on this one daniel chapter 9 verse 27 the bible says here and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate even unto the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. A week here is talking about the week of years. One week here is talking about seven years. And in the middle of these seven years, which is going to be three and a half years, is going to break a covenant with the people of Israel. This Antichrist will make peace with the world. He will enter peace with the Israelites for seven years. And the Bible says in the midst of that seven years, he's going to break that peace talk, that peace agreement. And the Bible says he's going to man the temple. If you read down, he said that in the midst of one way, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. The sacrifice there is talking about the daily, the daily worship in the temple. When people will be going to the temple to worship God, to pray, he's going to do what? To cancel it. He said, nobody will worship God anymore. You worship me now. He's going to desecrate the temple and he's going to man the temple. As I read in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4, he will not claim to be God. That is the Antichrist. Everybody is going to see it. Everybody will know it. He's reaching of tyranny will now begin. His regime of wickedness will now begin. After they might have contaminated a lot of souls already and stolen heaven from them. That's what the Bible says. So, this is it. This is the least I can tell you about the governmentship of the Antichrist. I don't want to bore with a lot of histories about the beast, about the Antichrist. That's why I limited my teaching on this topic to the Bible. I gave you what the Bible has given us, even though I didn't go deep or into detail. But at least I have given you enough knowledge for you to be aware that when the Antichrist comes, it will not be hidden. It will be made public. Everybody will know it. They will come by peace and deception know it so that you don't be deceived anymore okay i pray that the lord help you and give you the grace and increase your knowledge of the bible to know how the devil comes and when he wants to deceive you in the name of jesus 
I pray that this video will transform your life and you will do the work of evangelism by sharing this video to your loved ones, by subscribing to this channel and sharing it to all the contacts you have, and even encourage them to subscribe to this channel and watch videos as this, commenting on the video and also liking the video as you do all this. The Lord bless you. I believe I will soon see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.